Hi, I'm Beth with 50 Plus Beauty and I'm excited that you're here with me to see my May faves. Yes, that's right. These are my faves and fails that I had during the month of May and I always get excited about this because it's like sharing all of my favorites with my girlfriends. And if you're not a subscriber, I hope you'll subscribe and click that little bell. That way you won't miss notifications of any of my youthing videos. Now in just a few minutes, I'm going to be getting into makeup and hair faves, but first I wanted to tell you a little special jewelry fave. This is an absolutely wonderful little thing for summer and you probably don't know what it is. It looks like a bracelet and indeed I do have this bracelet in the same chain link as well but this is an ankle bracelet. Yes, that's right. This is something that is so much fun, and if you don't have any tattoos, which I don't have any tattoos, and I keep promising myself I'm not going to get any tattoos, but one thing I do like to do in the summer is to be a little wild and wear an ankle bracelet. <laughs> My life has gotten very tame if this is wild, but I found this great ankle bracelet which is stainless steel, totally stainless steel, so it will never ever tarnish. It's very comfortable and lightweight, and I'll show you a picture of it on my ankle. There it is. In fact, its creator is John Lurch and his wife Terry, and they're fabulous friends of me and Alan's, and John gave me this ankle bracelet for my birthday, for my 60th birthday, so it's pretty special, and I have not taken it off since the day he sent it to me. And it is absolutely wonderful, and his brand is called Dazzle Accents, and he does all kinds of wonderful bracelets, ankle bracelets, even boot bracelets, which was very interesting. And I'll put a link to Dazzle Accents below, which is the name of John's company. And if you order a bracelet or an ankle bracelet, please measure your wrist or your ankle to make sure that you give him an exact size. That way it can be custom fit to you. But I absolutely love this. It just makes me feel young again because I remember I got my first ankle bracelet. I may have been in high school, something like that, and I wore it around all summer with my bikinis and my shorts, and I don't wear bikinis anymore, but I absolutely love wearing an ankle bracelet. It just makes me feel special and like summer is really here. Now let's get into makeup, and I am wearing the makeup that I'm discussing this evening. The first makeup item I have for you is this wonderful palette. It has been my favorite of the whole month. In fact, it's going to be hard for me to use another one next month because I've really gotten used to this. It is the Tartlet in Bloom palette. It has a lovely little exterior there. These are absolutely the perfect neutral colors. I don't know if you can see that very well. This is a fabulous little lid shade here. Look at that. Absolutely beautiful. This is a great transition shade. Very, very natural. Awesome. And then this one, which I won't dip into, is a wonderful little brownish black shade which really gives drama in that V area absolutely love this. This is a great burgundy and I've been wearing this as well. I absolutely love this palette. And the Tartlet shadows go on beautifully. They stay on all day. They blend well. They are absolutely beautiful. And on my eyes I use this little shade on the lid with this in the middle and then I use this in the transition and a tiny tiny little bit of this in the V and I think it made a beautifully natural look. Now my next fave is an eye fave as well, and it's a drugstore low-end fave, I guess you'd say. This is the Maybelline Lasting Drama Gel Eyeliner Pencil, and it is in the color brown. Actually, it's not called brown. I think it's called Coffee Toffee or Toffee Coffee. I'll put it below in terms of a link. But as you can see, it's just the most lovely color of brown. And I love these gel eyeliners because they go on very, very easily. They're a lot more forgiving than a liquid liner, but they kind of have that liquid liner look. Absolutely beautiful liner, easy to wear, and reasonably priced. Now my next fave has to do with eyes as well, and these are the Ardell Natural Multi-Pack Lashes. And you can get these in a single lash if you'd like to try them out, just one pair. But this is the second multi-pack that I have purchased of these, and I have been wearing artificial lashes, and that's kind of a new thing for me. I have not gotten into the super dramatic lashes yet. I'm going to try that next month. In fact, I have one of these dramatic ones on my table because I am going to be trying the drama lashes. But if you're fairly new to lashes or you just want a wonderfully natural look, these Ardell Naturals and they're the 110s are absolutely wonderful. They go on easily. Just trim them a little bit at the outside and you're all set. Now my next fave is also an eye fave and this is called Lumify and I did a video about this product. In fact, I sort of discovered it. I haven't seen any other YouTubers talking about it. But this product actually whitens the whites of your eyes and it does not do it like the Visines of the world did it because basically they could cause something called rebound redness. In fact, I use those types of products very, very seldom 
seldomly because I didn't want the red to get worse over time, which it does with the Visine products. This is a brand new preparation that is FDA approved and proven to whiten the whites of your eyes without causing rebound redness. Now this next product that I'm showing you is a blush. In fact, it's the blush that I'm wearing. And as you can tell, it's a very, very natural peachy color. And this is a Chanel blush. It's a very high-end blush. I think it's about $45, but to me, it was truly worth it. Look at that color. Absolutely a beautiful, beautiful peachy, very natural color. And it is not so highly pigmented that it goes on with big splotches of color. Because I realized in looking at some of my older videos that although I love the fuchsia blush colors and they look okay in real life, on camera, they really look a little bit strident sometimes, a little bit too fuchsia, kind of like a ball of color on your cheeks. And especially as you get to be a little more grown up, you want a little more subtlety and a little more of just a gentle blush. And this color is absolutely beautiful and super natural. This blush is Chanel's Ju Contrast Blush in color 310 Elegance, or Elegance, I don't know. <laughs> but anyway, it's a beautiful blush. Now my next two products are lip products, and in fact they're the lip products that I have on right now, and they're kind of iconic lip products, and I was so excited to try them. This is the Charlotte Tilbury Lipstick in Pillow Talk. I'm going to go ahead and apply a little more. And although it's a matte, it does not feel drying on the lips, it feels more like a cream. And it's an absolutely beautiful matte with a little bit of a salmon to it. Absolutely beautiful, very wearable lip color. It's not a nude that has that pasty kind of concealer look. It's a nude that is truly about the color of your lips if you have medium colored lips. Absolutely beautiful. Then I lined it with the Pillow Talk Liner. This is an absolutely beautiful nude lip liner that totally matches the Pillow Talk lipstick. I absolutely love this lipstick. In fact, I've been wearing it all month. Now my next product is a nail product, and this is the Sally Hansen Insta Dry. It dries in 60 seconds, but many of you have asked what nail polish I wear, and actually I wear black shellac, and I go to the salon to get that, but sometimes they go a little more than a week and a half or two weeks between shellacs, and I'll get some chips, and so I use this Sally Hansen Black Insta Dry to kind of conceal those chips, and even before I went to the salon to have shellac nails, this is the nail polish that I used because I'm not very patient in terms of waiting on the drying time, and 60 seconds is absolutely perfect. This is a long wearing polish, it's very glossy, and it's very quick drying. Now the Chi people sent me a bundle of products and I was very excited to receive them. The first was this Chi 44 Iron Guard. Absolutely love this. I've been using this all month. It is a thermal heat protector that you spray on your damp hair. I really feel like it protects my hair and makes it look more sleek and glossy. Love this heat protector and I will be repurchasing this. And they also sent me this fabulous round brush and I'm sorry it has my hair in it because I have been using this all month as well. This is the Chi Turbo CB06 brush and this is natural boar bristles and it is absolutely fabulous in terms of giving you that long sleek look if you want to really get the kinks out. This is an absolutely great brush for that. This is absolutely the best round brush I have ever used. Fantastic brush. And in addition to the brush, they sent me this blow dryer. And this is the Chi Nano Ionic Technology Blow Dryer. And I have been using this for about three weeks. And I have to be honest with you, this is not my favorite blow dryer. It's very lightweight, and I like that. And it does have the Ionic Technology, so it is supposedly easier on your hair, which I do appreciate. But this is a very, very pricey blow dryer. It is well over $100. And I have to say that I have been using this Pro Dryer, and I've discussed this before. But I got this on Amazon for about $35, and it is also an Ionic blow dryer. And really, this blow dryer at $35 dries my hair just as quickly as the Chi Nano, and it's about $100 less. So unfortunately, in terms of me and my hair, I would not recommend the Chi Nano. I would save some funds and use this blow dryer, the Pro Dryer, and I will post the link below. Now the next product I ordered from Octoli, this is the Volition Eucalyptus Stretch Mark Minimizer. And this is a new Stretch Mark Minimizer Cream that Sephora is going to be offering very soon. And I have to say this was a big fail for me, and quite honestly I'm not surprised. As many of you know, in my first pregnancy 35 years ago, my son Dylan is 35, I gained 75 pounds and got some stretch marks. And so of course for the last 20 years, actually 35 years, I've been ordering stretch mark creams, probably tried 20, 25, 30 of these creams, spent lots of money, and none of them did anything except waste my funds. And unfortunately, this was no exception. It smells like eucalyptus. It smells kind of nice. 
but I used it on my stretch marks and I could not tell any difference after about three weeks. And unfortunately, at least for me, this goes along with all the other stretch mark creams I've used that are just expensive and disappointing. Now my last two products involve sleeping and the first is this melatonin by Natrol. This is the three milligram sleep potion and actually this does not work like a sleeping pill. I learned from watching Barbara Hoffman's channel and I'll link her video below. In fact I did a video about how wonderful this product is and I'll put that video link below as well. I have not been able to sleep since I was in my 30s. I mean I would wake up at 2.30, 3.34 and not be able to get back to sleep and I had tried melatonin over the years but realized that I was trying it wrong. Wrong. I was using it for a night or two or three and thinking, oh, it doesn't work. But then Barbara Hoffman's video taught me that you need to give melatonin a chance to build up in your body. So use it for a couple weeks, two to three weeks, and you will be amazed at the difference. And I am totally amazed at this. This has been a sleep cure for me. Now I wake up at 5.30 or 6 o'clock in the morning, which is when I want to wake up. And half the time I'm like, why didn't I wake up at 3 o'clock? I almost miss my time spent up in the middle of the night praying and meditating. But a lot of that time was spent tossing and turning too, so I feel much better now that I'm getting better sleep because of this melatonin. Now I save one of my favorite faves for last, and this is the Your Face Pillow, and this is phenomenal if you'd like to become a back sleeper. In fact, this pillow basically has the training built right in. You will become a back sleeper from the first night you use this. Now I have been sleeping on a wedge pillow for about a year, and I love it because sleeping on the wedge really gets rid of the wrinkles that you have on your face, or at least it minimizes them quite a bit. Many of you ladies have told me that it's been tough for you to become a back sleeper because you keep rolling over. Well, this pillow, have it upside down, this pillow helps you to sleep on your back. This is where you put your neck. There's a little neck support here, and this is that wonderful foam that they have in the $5,000 expensive mattresses, so it's extremely cushy. And then it has these two bumps, one to support either side of your head, you start out your night facing up, and really you wake up in the morning after the first night still facing the ceiling. This pillow will help you become a back sleeper in just one night and immediately start experiencing the benefits of sleeping on your back, better looking skin with fewer wrinkles. And if you're not a subscriber and would like to see my upcoming video about the Your Face Pillow, just subscribe and click that little bell. That way you won't miss that or my other youthing videos. Now, I always like to leave you with a little thought for the day, and today is no exception. I have been using the Power Thought cards from Louise Hay, and let's see what Power Thought we're going to be thinking about today. Here we go. Let me try this one. Okay. I am safe. It's only change. Sorry you can't see that, but it says, I am safe. It's only change. I cross all bridges with joy and ease. The old unfolds into wonderful new experiences. My life gets better all the time. Friends, I absolutely love this card, and it's really true. I am safe, it's only change. You know, in my first half, my life seemed to change a lot. You get married, you have kids, you switch from job to job, and somehow change seemed easier back then. But as I've gotten a little more grown up, sometimes I get a little set in my ways and I get afraid of change. And I want things to continue on as they always have been, even if sometimes they're not all that great. So I think in the second half, we need to go armed with our suitcases of experiencing change as joy and crossing all bridges with joy and ease. And accept that when we allow the old to unfold into new experiences, our life can get better all the time. Take care. See you next time.